Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2x plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 2x as x to the power of x to the power of 2. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now, I'm going to let the variable y equal x to the power of x. So now I have y squared plus y is equal to 20. Now from here, I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I'll be left with y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, y over here, I can rewrite this as 5y minus 4y. And now, the reason I did this is because I can factor by grouping. So for y squared plus 5y, I'm going to factor out y. So now I have y times y plus 5. And from negative 4y minus 20, I'm going to factor out negative 4. So I have negative 4 times y plus 5. Now, from the entire equation, I'm going to factor out y plus 5. So now I have y plus 5 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. So this actually gives me two equations. I get y plus 5 is equal to 0, and I get y minus 4 is equal to 0. So y minus 4 equals 0, y is equal to 4. And for y plus 5 equals 0, y equals negative 5. Now, because this is negative, this is not possible. Because notice how y is equal to x to the power of x. So you can't take the power of a negative number and make it positive. So I get 4 is equal to x to the power of x. And we have to find a number that works out for this. Well, the only number that is small enough is 2. So x equals 2 because 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So 2 is my answer to this equation. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 1 plus 4 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 64. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by using the property of exponents that says that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 4 to the power of x plus 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1. And 4 to the power of x plus 2, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 2. Now this is equal to 64. Now from here, I'm going to factor out 4 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 4 plus 4 squared. And 4 squared is 64, so I get, or sorry, 16. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 4 plus 16. Now, 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 plus 16 is 21. So I get 4 to the power of x times 21 is equal to 64. And now, if I divide both sides by 21, I get 4 to the power of x is equal to 64 divided by 21. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 64 over 21. 
So if I have something form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log x. So log 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 4 is equal to log 64 over 21. Now, if I have something in the form of log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 64 over 21, that's going to equal log 64 minus log 21. And now I'm going to divide both sides by log 4. So I get x is equal to log 64 minus log 21 over log 4. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So obviously here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, First start by rewriting my problem. So I have four to the power of x is equal to eight. Now four here, this is the same thing as two squared. So I'm gonna rewrite this as two squared to the power of x. I, all I did was replace four with two squared. And now eight, this is the same thing as two to the power of three. So I'm going to replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 2x. And now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning, in this case, 2x is equal to m, and 3 is n. So I have 2x is equal to 3. And this is a simple equation. All I have to do is divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 3 over 2.